Five reasons you should get this. DJI Mavic Air 2. Camera quality. This camera quality is much better than the Mini 2. And it shoots at 4K60. Okay, I loved it. Shoots to 4K60. And the images out of this looks brilliant. Like, honest, looks great. I love the images out of this. Now, also, the next thing I wanted, I needed a larger but lighter drone. And this drone, as you can see, is pretty big. It's pretty big for the size. And it's pretty, still pretty light. And it really reminds me of the original, you know, Mavic when it first came out. Like, I like the design. It looks like the mini version of the Pro, actually. And I really like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So that's why I decided to get this. I know it weighs about 570 uh, grams. And you still do need to register it if you want to fly it in, like, in Canada here or in the States. You need to register this. But this handles the wind really easy. And it's really strong in the wind. And I will say, I've flown this in the wind. And you don't notice any kind of shakes at all. Like, whatsoever. No shakes. So that's what I really like about this drone. Now, let's talk about the control for a second. The controller. Yes, it's maybe slightly bigger. It may be slightly bigger than the last one. But it is still really nice. Like, you have your function right here. You have your wheel that controls the, this wheel controls the camera pitch up and down. You got your shutter button over here, so that was nice. And also you got your, your sticks down here, which are really nice. And obviously your speed modes and all that, all that great stuff you got that right here. So that's what I really like. So I like the controller over the, uh, the other one a lot more. And also it has OcuSync 2.0. This controller is a lot better than the original Mavic Air. All right. So I definitely like this one a lot better. I will say that. Now, also what I needed was uh, the range. I needed something that could fly a little long, like further away that would not go like lose range or anything. And this, this, this drone right here, this drone did it perfectly for me. It, it, this drone goes super far. This drone goes about what, 10 kilometers. And it's really good. I really like that fact. And also it switches between 2.4 gigahertz anywhere to uh 5.8 gigahertz frequency. Depends on your situation. So that's, yeah, you need something that you can trust. This is definitely something you can trust. Okay. Some of the things I like comes with a lot of uh, features, like new features like air sense. So pretty much it lets you know when uh, other aircrafts are close by. That's what I thought was pretty cool. Air sense on this so you don't got to worry about other airplanes it just knows that they're close by i'll show you on your screen itself so i really like that it also has obstacle avoidance which is nice a pass 3.0 i know it's not the a pass 4.0 but this a pass 3.0 actually works really well and i love that so it just gives you a little peace of mind in case you're flying around trees or something and you think your drone is gonna crash or something like that this right here will make sure your drone does not crash uh but one thing i will say the si there's no side sensors here uh, there's only sensors at the front here there's two at the back and also two underneath but there's no side sensor sometimes i really wish that dji would would wouldn't put the back ones because i don't think much of us actually fly backwards i think most people fly to the side side to side so i think if dji was smart their next drone they will put the sensors on the sides like from now on i, I think the back sensors we don't need as much because it if anything, when your drone is returned to home either way, it's flying forward, like straight at you regardless. So I don't think back sensors were the ideal place to place these, okay? I honestly think uh, they should put it aside. All right, so the bonus one why I got this. As I said, the DJI, I really wanted the DJI Mini 3 Pro, but the DJI Mini 3 Pro is right now with the fly more combo and all that good stuff. It comes up to about over 1,500 Canadian with taxes and all of that. So this, I got this used, okay? And that's the other thing. These these are used, you can find them a lot of places like on Facebook Market, Kijiji, any other, other things. This cost me this, this, and one extra battery. It came up to $550 Canadian. So that's $550 for this plus one extra battery. So this plus one extra battery, this whole thing right here, came up to $550, okay? So the price was great. I couldn't, I, I couldn't turn it down. So it's a little, yes, it's a little bigger than the mini, mini three pro, but I find for the value, this is definitely worth the value. Okay. This is worth the value, especially for like people who are just coming up hobbyists, you know, as someone who don't want to spend too much money. If you can find this secondhand in good condition, I strongly recommend you getting this in good condition. If you guys found any value in this, please give the video a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Also, if you guys want more drone stuff or just reviews, Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bells on. Make sure it's all notifications because I will be doing more reviews and yeah. All right. Anyways, bye.